What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have with me Ebbett Jarrell, coach at Iron Faith Wrestling. Iron Faith Wrestling, Three, Wrestling is one of the two, fastest growing one, channels both on work. Instagram and on YouTube. If you've been in the grappling community, you've probably heard their name before. Ebbett is doing a great job of sharing his expertise and knowledge in the sport of wrestling. Now, with that said, obviously this is a jiu-jitsu channel. I asked Ebbett to show us how to use or get to a cradle. I think the cradle is something that's vastly underutilized in the sport of jiu-jitsu. It's something that jiu-jitsu athletes can uh, uh, can use and implement more. Ebbett, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Take it away. All right, perfect. So most of the time, uh, cradles happen from shot defense, and there's a, I, you know, I, I have a whole video on cradles, but there's a lot of ways to hit the cradle. My par partner has a single on me, and they have this leg up. I can look for a cradle here. You know, and a lot, there's a lot of different var variety, but I'm gonna show it from the front headlock. So I'm here. What I'm looking to do is attack his ankle with the hand that's in the tricep. So my front headlock position, I have tricep, I have chin. All right, maybe I'm pushing into him and I snap him to the mat, and then I'm looking for the ankle. The reason why I'm gonna go for the ankle is it's gonna, it's gonna force him to either turn away or to face me. So if I come here and I snake the ankle, if he turns into me to face me, the knee's gonna come up and I can lock the cradle position. And I would say that's probably what's gonna be happen most in jujitsu. I don't think they're gonna turn their hip down and turn away this way to give up their back. Yeah. So you, you get a lock on that ankle from here, boom, they turn to face you. Back elbow is gonna go deep behind his knee. I want my elbow behind his knee joint and my other elbow wrapped around his neck. Okay, once I'm here, we got three locks. We can lock in an S grip, we can lock in a gable grip, or we can lock up kind of higher like this. S grip is the weakest, but it's the easiest one to get to. Now, once I'm here, we have two options to put them to their back. You may not even care to put them to their back, but for wrestling, that's what we're trying to put them to. So I can either drive him to his hip, and then I can look to lift him up, bring him to his back. And I'm wondering if maybe a knee on belly would be a good transition, but you never sure. You know, probably a couple different options. Another way to finish this position is once you have it locked, if he's facing you, especially put this foot almost over here so I can't drive you over that way. So I'm in a position where I actually can't drive him to his hip. I'm gonna keep my head right in this position and I'm gonna step my right knee over his heel and I'm gonna go to a back bridge position here and do a back bridge and I'm gonna walk back up on top. Beautiful. So I'll show you that one one more time, but those are two ways to get him to his back. You know, I'm here. And if he ever just steps his leg up, you can just go cradle right away. So I'm only gonna lock the leg out if they're on their knee. Now, if they're facing me and I wanna put him to his back, um, I'm gonna take my right knee, block here, and I'm gonna roll across my back. A lot of times I like bridging so that I can really high leg over and get on top here, and then let go and move to the next position. Yeah, guys, that uh, knee on belly transition that Ebbett did off of the cradle, I thought was excellent. That was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ebbett, thanks for joining the channel. Yeah, I appreciate thanks it. Through. Guys, sweet setup for the cradle. Very easy, high percentage setup. Get to the ankle, lock up the cradle. Like I said, something that's vastly underutilized in the sport of jiu-jitsu. Something that us uh, jiu-jitsu guys can make a lot more can benefit a lot more from Evan. Thanks again, guys. Yeah. I'll put the links to Evan's channel and his Instagram in the bio. Go check it out. Even if you do jujitsu, trust me, it's gold content.